Parkinson's disease affects daily tasks people take for granted. Brushing your teeth, tying your shoes, even walking become difficult or impossible. Researchers at the Medical College of Georgia are studying whether occupational therapy can help. Let's go all the way down to the floor. Good. For an hour each week, 30 study participants meet with an occupational therapist. Dr. Ben Hers, a principal investigator on the National Parkinson's Foundation funded study, explains. I've left it up to the therapists to decide after we've talked about the disease process and what they've seen. And we use a variety of different modalities. Um, because as occupational therapy is, we're very holistic. We look at the cognitive, we look at the psychosocial, we look at the uh, functional movements, we look at the sensory motor aspect. And we have a pretty well-rounded approach to what we're doing. They have rigidity. Um, which is a stiffness in movement, uh, bradykinesia, slowing of movement, uh, fine motor dis dysfunction where they can't, they may not be able to write or button or do fine motor type activities. I'll hold your foot. Ingrid Bell has lived with Parkinson's for a decade. When she began the study, she was dependent on her husband for assistance, including her biggest challenge. Walking. Walking. Yeah, and then when, it, when I shake, you know, then it's hard to. There you go. Technology is also helping Mrs. Bell. She never thought a game system like the Nintendo Wii would be used in therapy. The nice thing about the Wii is that it's interactive. And when I say it's interactive in the sports aspect, you have to do the functional movements in order to be successful. One of the therapists uses the Wii for timing and, and loosening up. The other therapist uses it for some coordination and balance issues. But you know, to be honest with you, they're actually doing very similar things. Early results show that the participants are improving and having some fun, too. Therapists use games like Jenga to improve Mrs. Bell's fine motor dysfunction. 98% of the people that, have, that are finishing this week have achieved their goals, which is another way that we're measuring you know, our success. They, the therapists all set goals for these patients, and they've achieved them. Is it easier to, to walk? Yeah. It's easy to walk and my back, won't, it doesn't hurt so much anymore and my legs, they feel really good and so uh, like I said, I said you just have to keep it up. Feels I maybe good. have to help in, when I put my shirt on or something like that, but yeah. my shoes and stuff, but I'm trying it, you know, as hard as I can to do it myself. If we can have, teach them to do ec uh, exercise and functional activities, which is what we focus on primarily is the functional activities, uh, if they can do that, then maybe we can have them take less medications. And if we start that early in the stage one, that might go forward, so it might slow the progression of the disease uh, if we can do that. Reporting from the Medical College of Georgia, this is Paula Heinley.